East Side Lovina. Let's give her a big round of applause. Friends of Colors. Everyone is requested to please observe silence. Please all rise. May we request everyone to please observe silence now. Let us now welcome the year level governors and sports moderators with a sports fest flag. Our being together, 
We expect to be challenged to understand better what we are here for and how to manage the experiences we will share. Help us to support one another in a spirit of brotherly love so that our efforts in your name will be productive of good for the benefit of us all. We know you will guide us and strengthen us for what lies ahead. We pray in Jesus' name, Amen. St. John Baptist de La Salle, Amen. Lead Jesus in our hearts forever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Please remain standing for the singing of the Philippine National Anthem by the Integrated School Choral. Challenge in 2003 
held here in Necros Occidental. After finishing high school, he went to Manila to study and proved himself worthy of the respect in the national level among the toughest contenders in the country. He is currently a third year student taking up Bachelor of Arts major in sports management and is one of the aces in the DLSU golf team, wherein in 2006 they defeated Ateneo in the Rosal Ateneo Rider Cup. In what can be considered as the final time of his career, in the National Intercollegiate Golf Championship this year, participated by Ateneo, UANP, University of the East, DLSU, UST and St. Peter, they emerged as the team champion. And our speaker was second in the individual ranking. This was in the first leg. In the second leg of the game, he was the champion. According to him, these things were not much of deals, but piece by piece excellence and would not be possible without a very strong family support and foundation. It was a passion, then a skill, then talent, and more passion for this sport. Ladies and gentlemen, it is with pride and honor that I present to you our guest speaker today, Mr. Justin Lin. President of PSLS, Mrs. Lisa Lina, Mrs. Delvin Arinas, the highest principal, and the rest of the members of the Rosario family. Good morning. We're now invited once more to be your guest speaker for today. Definitely, I felt very honored. The opportunity to address you and perhaps to inspire you, my dear Rosarians, was enough motivation for you to be present before you now. Sports has always been a part of my life. As early as three years old, I have engaged myself in swimming. I remember my father would always bring me to Santa Fe for my dream, and my teacher Benny Musai, who gave me all the support and encouragement that I needed during that time. From then on, with pure determination and self-discipline, I joined various competitions, locally and internationally. Unfortunately, I won a number of events. However, after seven years of swimming, a realization dawned on me that I wanted to explore another field in sports and tactics, golf. At age 10, I left swimming. I was grade 5 at around that time, and I shifted to holding my skills in playing golf. As I learned its basics and eventually mastered them, I was able to represent my school years as Idas, my city, my province, and eventually my country in various tournaments. Aside from the honor of those achievements and the call for humility of those humbling experiences in all those golf competitions, it is through golf that I learned to be more at home, to be more focused, and to be more persevering and constantly invoking the God's guidance. It's such a lifelong skill that I have acquired by engaging myself in this passion. My being a golf player was needed an admission in the Lasalle University, where I am now a member of the varsity team. And such membership led me to enjoy the following benefits, such as using the athlete's gym, be excused from taking my TV subjects, being for a modified ROTC program, and get excused absences every time I have my competition. Looking at all this, I can say that my being an athlete has transformed me to be the kind of person that I am now. More focused, more skilled in dealing with people, and a more disciplined individual, with a strengthened faith in God for allowing me to experience all those humble and glorious achievements through sports. I may not have excelled in my academics, although I did not improve, but I can definitely say 
that I am always excited in my chosen sports. And that, I think, is my message to you all my rich friends. God has gifted us with different talents. And it is up for us to discover them. It is your duty to discover your own talent, your own giftedness, and as soon as you have done so, own such a talent and become the kind of person you want to be. Do that talent. This you can do with constant self-discipline. And likewise, employing the aid of the Almighty to sustain you with the all energy that you do as you embrace on such self-discovery. I have done mine, I have discovered myself. I have the kind of I have become the kind of person that I want to be. Though I am still a work in progress, it is yours now for the day. Good luck to all of you as you start the Miguel Olivia Sports Fest 2007. Be grounded with that aside of sportsmanship all the time. Be involved. Enjoy. Do your best. Excel. Before I end this speech, I would like to impart this message to you. Because in any sport, there can only be one winner. And much has been said about winning with humility and losing with dignity. The title of this passage is, What If I Have Failed? Failure doesn't mean I'm a failure. It simply means I haven't yet succeeded. Failure doesn't mean I haven't accomplished yet anything. It simply means I have learned something. Failure doesn't mean I have been a fool. It simply means I had enough faith to experiment. Failure doesn't mean I have made mistakes. It simply means I dare to try. Failure doesn't mean I don't have it. It simply means I have to do something in a different way. Failure doesn't mean I'm inferior. It simply means I'm not perfect. Failure doesn't mean I should give up. It simply means I should try harder. Animo, what's up? Thank you, Mr. Linhap, for those very inspiring words. We will now present our token of appreciation and certificate to our guest speaker. May we request our brother president, Brother Ray Sofino FSC, to be assisted by our principal, Mrs. Maria Dalvilar Limas, to present the token and the certificate. The certificate reads, University of St. Lasalle Integrated School, Bacolod City. Certificate of Appreciation is given to Justin E. Limha as guest speaker of the Miguel Avina Integrated School Sports Fest 2007 with a theme, a celebration of the Salian spirit through excellence in sports given at the University of St. Lasalle Integrated School, Bacolod City, November 26, 2007. Signed, Mrs. Charcel Prado, Department Chair, Physical Education, and the Principal, Maria Dalilar Limas. Let's give a big round of applause to Mr. Justin Limha. Thank you very much. We would like to present our token of appreciation to Mrs. Isa Lovina. The token will be presented by our brother president and Mrs. Limas. Thank you very much, Mrs. Lovina, for gracing this morning's event. We will now have the racing of the Sports Fest flag. May I request the year-level governors and the sports moderators to do the honor.
lower the back banners. We would like to remind everyone that the lowering of the back banners is not a contest. Okay? Let's do the countdown, everybody. Thank you very much, dear level. First Council President to lead the oath of sportsmanship. May I request all the athletes to stand. I do solemnly pledge to abide by the rules of amateur sports, to play the games, According to the rules of the 2007 Michalo Vina Sports Fest, to obey and respect the officials of the game, to keep my cool in times of disagreement, to be humble in victory and magnanimous in the field. To do my best to win the game, not only for the honor of my team, but above all, for the glory of sports. So help me God. To officially declare the opening of the Mikel Ovina Sports Fest 2007, let us give a big round of applause to our principal, Mrs. Maria Del Pilar Dimas. It is with much pride, honor, and excitement that I declare the Mikel Ovina Sports Fest 2007 open.
the University of St. Lasalle Bacolor, a former USLS Pep Squad moderator. Presently, she is teaching PE in the, in the college level. The chairman of the board of judges, Alma Anali Hago. Our judges will be using the following criteria in determining the winners. Showmanship, which includes skill and creativity, at 30%. Rhythm, that means timing and precision, 30%. Originality and mastery, 25%. Overall impact, 15%. A total of 100%. Enjoy our competition this morning. Thank you, Ms. Tina. The order of presentation is as follows. The first performer, the seniors. The second performer, the juniors. The third performer, the freshman. And last to perform, the sophomores. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to begin the fourth rhythmic dance showdown competition. May I now call on the four group members of each level to occupy the floor now. Ladies and gentlemen, let the competition begin. Let's give a big round of applause to our core group members.
more time, let's have all the core group members on the floor. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a big round of applause to our core group members.
please occupy the floor before I announce the results. The following criteria will be used to select the most disciplined batch for the entire sports fest. Behavior, 30%. That includes this opening ceremony, during the sports fest, and after the cheering competition. Behavior, sorry, behavior before, during, and after the cheering competition, opening and closing ceremonies, 30%. Behavior before, during, and after the sports events, 30%. And consistency in following the general guidelines, sports and cheering guidelines, 40%. For a total of 100%. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the fourth Rhythmic Dance Showdown for this year's Sports Fest is no other than Who do you think? Will it be the freshmen? Or the seniors? Or the juniors? Or the sophomores? Congratulations performer number